guys, welcome to our lesson of our certification training for the XM MO300, so Microsoft Office Precious PowerPoint Associate 2019. Before we start, I would like to encourage you to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new certification training materials that I put out to the channel. And now, without further ado, let's begin with today's lesson. It is actually the last lesson of our comprehensive PowerPoint review course, and today we should review how to set timing for transitions and perhaps also for animations. So things like setting transition effect duration as well as configure transition start and finish options. So let's begin by setting transition effect duration. This is pretty straightforward. So you go to these transitions, you have to firstly apply some transitions. So let's perhaps go with this flash or maybe fall over yeah that is a bit better for demonstration purposes and now you can see that under timing group we can set the exact duration in seconds okay so now let's set it to 5 seconds and you can see that it is far slower than the previous one okay so that is how you set the duration Next up there are a few options on how you can configure the start and finish options of transitions. So for example there are options to advance your slides. So by default your slides advance on mouse click and I would say it's the most convenient one. So when we open the presentation in reading view you can see that I simply I can use the arrow keys for example to change the transit to, to change the individual slides but there is also an option to advance your slides automatically after a certain time span passes so for example we can set the slide to advance automatically after two seconds let's preview this one so perhaps we can go to the previous slides now let's open the reading view like that first second 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 and you can see that the powerpoint automatically advanced our slide into the next one okay so that is how you can modify some of the advanced slide options and you can also set a few other things like the sound effect or apply the certain transition to all slides and now let's review a few options that are available for animations so we can see these objects from the previous lesson there is a fade animation that is set on click for 0 0.5 seconds and the order is second on the slide yes yeah? so when we can preview it first second third and now there are a few more options so we can start the animation for example with previous that would mean that these two objects start at the exact same time like that we can for example set the delay to this object so now the animation will start one second after we click on the first object after the animation starts on the first object okay so one second perfect and it is quite handy to also open the animation pane so you can see by this mouse icon that this rectangle animation is set on click then when we go to the next one there's no icon and you can see that it will start with the previous object after delay one second and you can see the time visualization here so when I increase the delay, the delay you can see how the distance here increases perfect and when you double click on the animation you can see also a few other options so again sound effects a few more timing options for example a repeat a few more options for text animations so I encourage you to play with those options so you are ready for your MOS exam 
I hope you find this lesson and this series valuable. If so, smash that like button. Please subscribe to see more content and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!